Hey guys, Damien here from Gizby.com and ChinaPhoneArena.com. The phone we have for review today is the King Zone Z1. I'm just going to go through things very quick. I know you guys are busy. Let's take a quick look here. Let's first open up GPS test. This is a warm lock. I did lock recently, so let's see how long this takes. I'll show you guys physically the phone in a minute. The sides got really cool design. The King, they were, get, were locked already. It is a warm lock. There's uh, under 10 seconds there. But I did lock earlier. I'm also indoors, so that if I was outdoors, the signal strength would stay a little bit stronger. We lost, lost lock. There it is. As I said, I am indoors. I'm within the concrete walls. Let's take a look here. I'm going to show you how quick, because it says 2 gigabytes of RAM, we can keep tons of stuff in memory. That's a cool thing about having 2 gigabytes of RAM. I'll show you Antutu. Bam, it's right there. You can see we've scored a 40,000, 40,500. Really nice 3D score, the MT6752. It's a super powerful SOC. It's 64-bit. And also the 3D graphics, we score 11K on Antutu. This is 720p display. It's an IPS. Let's take a look at the different angles here. You can see that the colors and contrast stay true, even from the top. And let's take a look again here. What I wanted to show you is we go into memory here. You can see all the stuff staying here. Bam, that's still there. We go into an Antutu. See, it's just sitting there waiting to be used. Ice Storm, that's a 3D Mark Ice Storm. Actually, I want to show you that real quick here. The score on the left, 6464. That is the 1080p score. And on the score on the right, 10,047. That's a 720p. Browser, you can see that sitting there. Play Store. Bam, it's right there. Everything's installing from Play Store, no problem. Upgrading uh, the Play services, Google Play services, installed and upgraded, no problem at all. Let's see what else. I think I have Skype in here somewhere. Let's see, yeah, I opened this maybe uh, about 10 minutes ago. We'll take a look. Bam, it's sitting right there in memory waiting for us. Go up to the top here. What else? Settings. Let's take a look at About Phone. You can see it's got Android 4.4.4 in there. Let's take a look at Storage. Well, you see it's got a 3 gigabyte, 3 gigabyte internal, and the phone storage is 10 gigabyte. Should be enough for most people. You can actually uh, change the install location. You can have this installed to the internal device or the phone storage. You can also move apps over to SD if you start to run out of space on internal. Uh, there is a full review, a full written review with uh, pictures from this phone. I recommend you guys come by. It's full re uh, full review at gizby.com. I'll have a link right up in the video there. You guys can click that. I'll take you directly to the written review along with a coupon for the device. You can take a look here. The sides, what I was talking about earlier, it's really a beautiful phone. They did a really good job designing this phone. You see the sides are aluminum. It's a gold gold color there. I'm not sure how well the gold shows up uh, in the video there, but it's gold. And you can tell that the tops and the bottom, the top and the bottom, check this out. They have put this a lip. This wraps around. That is plastic. The top and the bottom is plastic. And the back is really cool too, the way it catches light. The material, it shrugs off fingerprints, stays nice and clean. And they also put some hints of red around here. And actually in the speaker is interesting too. You can see some red inside the speakers there. And in the earpiece as well, it's tinted red here as well. Really cool design, aluminum on the sides. Really slick looking cool design. It's also another thing you might notice is that you've got dual ports down here for speakers. It's more for show than anything. Uh, most of the sound does come out of the back right here. However, it looks cool. And also, this is a dark gray as opposed to black on what you see on most phones. This phone is 4G capable. It also has uh, worldwide 3D support with 850, 900, 1900, and 2100. Let's take a look at the OTG. I'm just going to plug my gamepad in here. And that thing should right, light right up. And within several seconds, we should be able to control the phone. You see it lights right up there. It's kind of out of frame. And now when I move this around... You can see that we have the US, the OTG works right off the bat. There's nothing special you have to do. You can game with this gamepad. This is just a generic uh, $5, $6 gamepad. 
And we'll unplug that now. We'll take a look at the weight of the phone. I'm also going to show you the thickness of the phone. I believe it comes out to about 9.5. That's 170 grams. And then the thickness of the phone. Let's take a look here real quick. 9.2. 9.3. Okay, guys, that's about it. Damien, over an hour. Remember to check out the full review at gizme.com. Go ahead and click that link. Subscribe to the channel to stay updated, guys. We have new reviews coming every week. Damien, over an hour.